the kind of agreement between the subject and the verb in a sentence is called as subject and verb agreement a singular verb is that which has a yes added okay an s is added at the end but it has to be added only in the present tense any nouns or pronouns you join by adding conjunctions in between they become a plural subject hello everyone i am dr shalini professor of english vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence mysuru today we are here to discuss about a language component session prescribed for first sem bba what are we learning in today's session today's session is all about subject and verb agreement so we are going to understand what is subject and verb agreement then what are singular verbs and plural verbs and what are the rules that we have to follow for subject and verb agreement so let us start our session with the meaning of subject and verb agreement so what is subject and verb agreement the kind of agreement between the subject and the verb in a sentence is called as subject and verb agreement okay so what is a subject let us understand first suppose i have a sentence like um she gave a book okay so who is the doer of the action whoever does the action that is called as the subject okay next comes the verb okay so there should be an agreement between the subject and the verb okay so here to begin with whoever is the doer of the action that is called as the subject it can be a living thing or it can be a non living thing also basically we uh, consider whoever does the action okay so whoever receives the action or whatever receives the action so that is called as the object of the sentence fine so you have to concentrate only about the subject of the sentence so whoever is doing the action that is the subject and whatever agreement that has to go on between the subject and the verb that is following next to the subject so that we are going to learn the rules for that okay so the agreement between the subject what you are writing about and the verb is called as subject verb agreement it can also be called as subject verb concord okay so there is an other word also that's used so we have to now understand what is a singular verb okay so nouns yeah we know what is singular and plural isn't it we have singular and plural nouns that you already know like cat you have cats okay suppose you have hero you have heroes so like this you add s or es and make it into plural but two verbs also have plural so yes that is what we have to understand so let us start. just for your reference we can consider that a singular verb and plural verb okay a singular verb is that which has a yes added okay an s is added at the end but it has to be added only in the present tense whenever we are using that verb in the present tense whenever we add s or es for in some cases it becomes plural verb okay sorry singular verb it becomes singular verb for example suppose i say she goes to the market okay so here what am i using what is the subject of the sentence this is the subject and this is singular okay so this subject is singular so i have to use a verb that is also singular okay so sometimes you add only s sometimes you add es also okay suppose i use this word shout okay you can just add s and make it as a singular verb okay so in plural nouns you can see whenever you add s it becomes plural noun but in verbs you have to be aware whenever you add s that becomes a singular verb okay so let us understand what is a plural verb plural verbs are those which do not have like they they always uh, in present tense they always pair with the plural nouns okay whenever there is a plural noun as the subject then only we use this uh, plural verbs okay plural verbs will not have yes or es in the end let me give you an example suppose the subject is plural i said okay cats okay cats cry at night okay so here you can see this is plural and i am using a singular verb i am not sorry i am not uh, using s over here i am using a plural verb there okay 
so plural subject plural verb has to be used okay so let me give you another example they bring okay whatever i'm not writing the complete sentence they bring suppose this was singular it would have been she brings okay so whenever we use s it has to be singular whenever we don't use s it has to be plural okay so this is the plural verb i am talking about without s or es whatever verb is there that is called as a plural verb as shown over here as the example okay so let's go to the rules now let us start from the rule number 1 okay subject and verb rule number 1 subject and verb agreement rule number 1 so here you should know that singular subject always has a singular verb with it singular subject always has a singular verb with it so here you can see the price of essential commodities is constantly increasing so here the verb i am using is is increasing but i'll consider this first okay i am not considering the participle form i am considering only the helping verb now okay so this is singular am i talking about commodities or am i talking about the price that you should be very clear okay had i written the commodities then it should have been are increasing okay i am talking about only the price okay only the price so it is the singular subject this is the singular subject then obviously this will be is okay suppose uh, as i said here singular subject will take a singular verb suppose i have plural verbs like commodities only i'll take i'm not talking about the price i'm talking about commodities okay commodities this is a plural subject okay this is a plural subject and here commodities are of bad quality i said so here you can see since the subject is plural verb what i have used also will be plural okay suppose i had used commodity over here okay commodity this is singular subject okay this is singular subject so this will change to is singular verb okay so plural subject plural verb singular subject singular verb is the rule number 1 okay now to rule number 2 nouns or pronouns joined by and any conjunction you use okay any nouns or pronouns you join by adding conjunctions in between they become a plural subject so here you can see the poet and his wife are sorry have been invited to grace the occasion so here you can see the uh, word have okay so this is a plural verb okay so here the poet and his wife this is a singular subject this is also a singular subject okay so both join together by this conjunction here it becomes a plural verb okay so even though they are singular they have been joined by this conjunction and that becomes a plural subject okay but in some cases they might deceive you okay there might be a confusion so we'll just look at this this is also singular subject this is also singular subject joined by and so we are using this plural verb okay so this is how you use the words that are joined by and okay a conjunction in between a singular verb uh, between two singular verbs or two singular pronouns they are considered as plural subjects okay rule number 3 whenever the number of nouns okay that refers to one single person okay or a thing also possible okay then the subject is singular okay i didn't understand by reading the definition i didn't understand so you have to consider what i am referring to what am i talking about okay so here you can see i am talking about my friend i am talking about my friend which is a singular subject okay so here the friend has two roles to play my friend is a philosopher and he is also a guide okay he is not only a philosopher but also a guide okay so my friend philosopher and guide advises me so here i have used with es that means this is singular verb okay why is the singular verb because the subject here is singular 
this person is playing the role of a philosopher and guide okay so in that case you must be very clear about whom or what you are talking about okay if you are talking about one person who is taking two roles then it will be a it will be considered as a singular subject only okay so that you have to keep it in mind uh, here you can see this uh, they both are singular subjects they both are singular subjects and again they are joined by this conjunction and but still i have used is that is a singular verb only why is it though there are uh, two singular subjects joined by and they should have become a plural subject according to the rule number 2 but here it says that it is a singular subject because i have used singular verb that is because we are treating this bread and butter as one breakfast okay we are treating it as one breakfast and not bread separate and butter separate okay so bread and butter is considered as a breakfast and that's the reason i have used singular verb over here okay so in that case you should be very careful like horse and a chariot is waiting so like that horse and chariot is they both are part and parcel of each other isn't it so in that cases you should be able to understand what you're talking about and then you have to fill in the verb properly okay so next rule number 4 the noun or pronoun that comes after these words like or nor or whatever okay so after that whatever comes that has to be considered whenever you are filling the verb okay whatever verb you are using that should be uh, in concord with whatever pronoun or noun you are using after or or nor okay so how do you do it neither you nor i am supposed why did i use am hope you remember this with i you use am okay with you and plural and also with the they or we okay all these you use are okay hope you remember this and also with she he it or any singular okay you use is hope you remember this much okay so now coming back to this sentence so here you can see neither you nor i am supposed whatever this this nor okay after nor whatever has come like i'm talking about i after i whatever has to be used should be in concord with the word that comes after nor only okay whatever verb you are writing here should be considered with this only okay suppose it was you was here and i was that side that's not the right way of forming sentence but still i'm just telling you okay suppose it was neither i nor you you will use are supposed to attend the meeting this is not the right way of framing a sentence but i'm just giving you an example i is always not used in the beginning i should always be in the second position whenever you are making a sentence okay so this is one of the ways fine so you have to consider you and then fill the verb whatever has to be used after that okay so here you can see neither the teacher nor the students no this is without s that means it is a plural verb why because here it is plural subject so here it has to be plural verb okay so no the answer fine suppose teacher and students were interchanged suppose i would say neither the students i am taking students first that is plural subject first then the teacher and the nor it should have been nor the teacher so here it is singular okay this is singular verb so i am filling a singular verb only it is knows and the sentence continues so this is singular subject so this has to be singular verb okay so this is how you use uh, whenever this uh, conjunction is there like neither and nor okay so or and nor you have to consider like this when it is and that is also a conjunction you make it as a plural subject but this conjunction you treat it in a different way okay so be careful when you are using it fine let us go to rule number 5 the number of subject does not change because of the qualifiers like qualifiers means words like this okay with as well as besides in addition to together with 
no less than like this okay so the number doesn't depend on these words whatever you are using whatever you are talking about only that has to be considered okay so here you can see the last bag i'm talking about the last bag no s so this is singular subject okay whatever is there in between this comma whatever is there between this comma that doesn't that need not have to be considered okay so here you can see it is plural there it is plural but still i am using a singular verb that's because i have to consider only this when i'm writing the verb okay so the last bag with all its contents was finally recovered okay so whatever is there in between this comma or if at all the words like this are there also between the comma you should not consider that whatever is the subject only that has to be considered suppose this is plural then you have to fill fill with plural only okay so this is not plural but this is plural that doesn't affect the subject at all okay so that way you have to be very careful now we'll go to rule number 6 so words like many a each every every one anybody so words like this come they are all to be treated as singular subjects okay so whenever you say every one each one either all these the subject will be singular okay see here you can see uh, as i said either word has to be there so either is there but i'm talking about books okay so it is not plural it is singular only either of books means i have two books this one or this one that is the option any one is the option there okay so here you can see either of the books is worth reading that is because this is treated as a singular subject okay singular verb is used so here you can see each one of the soldiers though this is plural here the subject is singular subject subject will not be soldiers it is each one of the soldiers okay so that is singular subject so i have used singular verb over here okay so let me give you another example here you say every one is shouting you don't say every one are shouting okay so here every one is there this is treated as singular subject so this has to be singular verb only okay it has to be singular verb only so be careful when you come across words like this okay so we'll go to the next rule that is rule number 7 sometimes names of places might have plural okay or maybe uh, like uh, you can see the united states okay you cannot say united states are a country are countries no united states is a country because united states is one country what you're talking about okay philippines netherlands all these so netherlands though there is plural you can't say or uh, philippines also there is uh, plural you cannot say there is s so it might sound like plural but you should not use r over there similarly names of the books also the title of the books may also contain plural like three musketeers s is there okay or maybe sometimes newspapers the times of india okay so the times it is plural but they are always treated as singular only because they are the titles of newspapers or books respectively okay so here you can see the example three men in a boat so three men you should not consider only that okay you have to consider the whole thing the title okay three men in a boat is written by jerome k jerome like that only arabian nights gulliver's travels okay all these books okay uh, maybe three idiots that movie name also you can take so all these have to be treated as singular only and not plural though there is plural in the subject it should not be treated as a plural subject it should be treated like a title of the book or a movie or a newspaper okay we'll go to the next rule now whenever plural noun refers to one amount or a quantity or sometimes length also so that time you refer it as singular only okay 5 kilometers this is plural okay but 5 kilometers is treated as a length it's a distance okay so since it is a distance you write a singular verb over there okay for example you say 20 rupees is uh something too uh, much for this uh, article or something like that okay 20 rupees though this is plural we treat this as amount 
okay we treat this as amount so this we use the singular verb over there okay so whenever it is length whenever it is quantity or some measurement okay so all those are treated as singular singular subjects only that means you have to use singular verbs only over there okay rule number 9 uh, there are many nouns okay that appear to be plural they appear to be plural but are always used in singular only okay they appear to be plural but used as singular like no news is good news news s is there but still it is treated as singular uh, subject only okay so these are a few examples of the words that appear to be plural but are treated as singular like physics you have s but it's the name of a topic it's a name of a subject okay so there you have to use a singular uh, verb only mathematics also the i highlighted only this because you can understand it easily okay so innings also first innings second innings so that one also you should keep in mind though they are plural they are always used as singular only okay there are few nouns that are always used in plural only okay for example scissors scissors you know right it's a pair of uh, that uh, material okay so that one you always say where are my scissors you don't say where is my scissors no where are my scissors only here also cattle are grazing cattle it's a group of uh, cows and uh, buffalo okay so you can say cattle are grazing you don't say cattle you can say cows you can say buffaloes okay but if at all you want to use this if you want to show off your language that it is better you can use cattle okay so that you have to keep in mind they are that only few more examples like furniture okay furniture that also it is always uh, it doesn't appear to be uh, plural also but it is always used in plural only it doesn't have plural form at all you don't say furnitures furnitures is wrong okay but furniture is a collection of sofa teapot all those things whatever you use there in the uh, furnishing uh, your house okay so all that come under furniture only okay or maybe spectacles okay spectacles nothing but uh, the specs the specs what you use okay goggles sunglasses all these they are always used in pairs only means always used in plural form only okay yes the rule number 11 is very important you are referring to some collective nouns a group of nouns of similar kind is called as a collective noun okay so you have few you can give me few examples like a swarm of bees a swarm of bees or maybe a colony of bats okay so something like this okay so here you can see plural noun but collective noun should be singular okay so this will be singular you don't say swarms of bees a swarm of bees okay so singular this has to be plural always okay because it's a collection of many nouns which become singular okay so here you can see as the match is over the team here team there are many team members okay suppose you are talking about only the team as a whole as a group okay so that time you can refer to it as a singular subject okay the team has one if you say okay suppose i say the team has one i am talking about only the team now i'll come to this little later okay the team has one you can say okay so here the team this is singular subject and i use a singular verb okay but you can see in this example as the match is over the team are entertaining i'm using are over here i'm not writing teams but i'm writing are that is because i'm talking about one team only you have understood it right i have i'm talking about only one team but i am referring to each and every member of the team okay i'm not talking about the team as a whole i'm talking about each and every member of the team so in such case i can use are and show that i'm talking about the members of team so here if i use plural verb then you must understand that i am going to speak about i am talking about each and every member of the team there okay but coming to this a swarm of bees okay in such cases i don't refer to each and every bee at all i am not supposed to use swarms i am not supposed to use colonies okay 
Bees only will be plural. This will be singular only. Suppose I'm using this in a sentence. A swarm of bees is attacking. Okay, is attacking me, you say. Okay, here I use is. This is singular verb. Okay, so few uh, collective nouns have to be used in singular form only. But whenever you are using this plural verb over there, okay, whenever there are many members that are included there. So in such cases, you have to make sure what you are referring to. Okay, if at all you have a doubt in using this, you can use a singular verb only. No issues. Okay. Suppose you are confused with this usage, then this is the best option to use. Use that collective noun in singular form only. Use a singular verb and that will actually will not let you lose the marks. Okay. So that is a clever idea of using it in singular only. Okay. So now we have come to the end of the session. We have learned about 11 rules of subject and verb agreement. Okay. Hope you have understood all these rules. When you get back, please come back with doubts if at all you have any. Okay. So till then, keep learning. Let us meet again with another language component session very shortly. Okay. So till then, keep learning. Stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye.